I forgot to ask Tor where the Lisa battleship is. There's no need for that. Just take a look over there. That thing's huge! What is it? Lisa battleship. It seems someone's been slacking on his studies. I'll have to report this to King Lucifer. Don't you dare! You tell my father and we're through! Who the hell are you? This is our turf. We don't take kindly to outsiders just wandering in. We'll be on our way as soon as we get what we came for. Yeah, I've heard that one before. We don't need even more problems. Problems? Ain't none of your business. Now scram! Hey, wait! <laughs> the demon is talking to me! No, no, what should I do? Is this the end for me? I don't want to die without even getting to go on a date! The heck are you going on about? No one's trying to kill you. But my granny told me I'd die if a demon spoke to me. Then why are you still alive? Huh? Y you're right. That, that is strange. You are a demon, right? Enough of this nonsense! Give us the jump up parts already. I don't have anything like that. Then tell us who does. Uh, but I I can't just keep talking to demons like this. Get to the point. If you're scared of my words, you don't want to see what my fists can do. <laughs> the, the four is the one you want to talk to. Four? He's my friend. He always has the latest info. Four, huh? Let's go pay him a visit. A demon? That's something I've never laid eyes on. Are you four? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's a woman doing in a place like this? Hey, I'm the one you're supposed to be surprised by. Apparently, junkers consider her to be a rarer sight. <laughs> so, uh, mm, what are you looking for? <gasps> Could it be a date, perhaps? I heard you know where we can find a core frame for a junk bot. Oh, so you're here on business. I mean... Sure, I know where to find them, but it'll cost you. After all, parts and info are how we junkers pay the bills. If it's not free, what do you want? Uh, what do you think? Money, duh! Sorry, but our funds are limited. Can't you just tell us, please? Uh, maybe that generous young lady there could foot the bill. I'm just as broke as the rest of you. There's another way you could pay me. Hey, I'm a sheriff. I won't stand for such a thing. What? No, no. I just want to hear her say, please, for. Uh, ahem. Well, Anne, you heard him. Your call. That's a pretty fair trade. Fine. Please, for... <laughs> Yowza! Yup, that'll do! Uh, some half-baked wannabe junkers came around. Uh, no manners at all. Uh, they found this jump bot on board the Lisa battleship. And they've been using it to box us out and hog all the parts on the ship ever since. Sure, finders keepers is something of a way of life among junkers. But there's still a limit, you know? Wannabes have got no shame. Not just a core frame, but a working jump bot? Uh, yep. Can we take the jump bot for ourselves if we clobber them? If you clobber them, then fine, sure. <laughs> they won't know what hit them. Well, you sure sound confident. Huh. The entrance to the ship is through the cave up ahead. I imagine that bouncing schmuck's already made it pretty far inside. Go get him. By the way, miss, could you say it for me just one more time? Afraid not. That was a limited time offer. So this is the battleship's interior. Never imagined it looked like this. This is amazing! 
Come on, let's head further in. What's that? Looks like a huge bot. That's not just any bot. It's a jump bot. For real? It's unmanned. I say we grab it and run. Oh, no, you don't. I can't pretend I didn't just hear that pimp squeak. <sighs> didn't your daddy teach you it's wrong to take things that don't belong to you? Uh, no. My dad taught me to take whatever I want for myself. Huh. Strange dad you got. But that won't fly around here. If you're that desperate, I'll rent it to you for... 10,000 zenny an hour. Are you crazy? Who'd pay that much? We're here on a job to deal with that jump bot from a Junkers Market resident. Can't we just work out a peaceful solution? No. If you ain't got the money, then get out of here. Hold on. What? You not used to seeing girls either? Nah. What I'm interested in is your necklace. Bet I could get a damn good price for it. I'll take that as payment. No way. I'll never give this up, no matter what. <laughs> Too bad. When I see something I want, I ain't in the habit of letting it go. It's my turn to repay you. For what? <laughs> Even you're no match for my jump bot, demon boy! Here. Thank you, Bielz. What did you mean earlier about repaying me? Huh? Oh, right. Um... He must mean the time you took a bullet for him, back at Nap's base. Oh, you know, Bielz, you're a pretty stand-up guy. Stop before I puke! Not to bring down the mood, but you did a real number on the bot, Biel. <laughs> Is it complete junk now? Hmm... Nah... I think we can work with this. Really? The core frame is still intact. I can figure out the rest somehow or other. Awesome! Let's get back to Spino! And rebuild this thing then! Let this be a lesson to you, to change your ways. What's wrong? Aren't you going in? I am. It's just there's an urgent news bulletin on the radio now. Oh? Prince, we'd best listen too. Okay. Yesterday, a Royal Army tank was hijacked from Nap's base by unknown saboteur. Huh? The perpetrators have gone on a rampage with their stolen tank, looting vital water supplies and destroying several towns. What? Anyone who has recently sighted a suspicious tank should contact the Royal Army immediately. Any information about the culprit's identities or whereabouts is welcome. 
Moreover, the king is offering a 30 million zenny reward for the capture of the saboteurs, dead or alive. What? <laughs> but we didn't do any of that. Uh, of course. I mean, Mayor Tor trusts you guys, so... <laughs> How could the royal army sink so low? They have turned the entire world against us. Unless we find the spring, we'll have to spend the rest of our lives on the run. That's pretty horrible of them to put a bounty on your head. Our only hope is to find that spring as soon as we can. Let's abandon the tank and forget all about this. We got lucky. They still don't know who we really are. Some demon you are, thief. Don't be such a coward. But... Prince! I'll keep looking for the spring all on my own if I have to. No turning back now. I'll come too. We're basically partners in crime at this point. Let me be clear. I'm not turning back until I've seen that spring with my own eyes. If you can't handle that, then go home already. But, but... What will everyone say if they see me return without you? Don't be a worry, Wart Gramps. I'm sure things will work out. Once the jump bot's ready, I just know we'll find the spring. How can you be so sure? You're a gutsy one, aren't you? Do you think Anne's fine working on that jump bot all on her own? None of us know what we're doing. We'd only get in her way if we tried to help. We're better off getting some rest for the journey ahead. <laughs> We're going to be aimlessly wandering through the southern desert with an entire army on our tail. Don't worry. I lived in the south 30 years ago, so I at least know the general lay of the land there. Ah, 30 years ago. You mean back when the Peachy still inhabited the area? That would be about the time the royal army wiped them all out, wouldn't it? Yeah, about that time. Such a tragedy. That made my list of the top ten most foolish things humanity has ever done. Foolish? But it prevented the Peachy from destroying all of Sandland with their doomsday weapon. Really? You actually believe that? The Peachy were really developing a machine that made water. What? Water? No. no. That can't be true. It's true, all right. The brilliant Peachy were trying to create massive quantities of water, not just for themselves, but to share with everyone. And because the Royal Army's profits would go up in smoke if that happened, they got rid of the Peachy first. The massive explosion that happened when they were attacked was caused by the aquinium they needed to make their machine work which the Royal Army gave them knowing what would happen. And the Royal Army used a massive aquanium bomb to wipe out every last one of them. No, but how can this be? The commander of the tank brigade that attacked them, who ordered the shots that set off the aquanium, with me. Uh huh? The resulting explosion destroyed almost my entire village, and everyone in my whole brigade, apart from me, was killed in an instant. The army thinks I died back then, too. They, they made us attack, knowing it would cause that explosion. Wait. If they knew, why would they make your tanks attack inside the blast radius? Two birds with one bomb. Our brigade never much liked Supreme Commander Zeus' methods. We spoke our minds too much. Oh, <laughs> well, not your fault, huh? <laughs> you had no idea. S sure, you thought you were saving the world, right? Hmm. 
then, the Peachy were really developing a machine that made water. The real fiend here. And the Royal Army used a massive Aquanium bomb to wipe out every last one of them. Is actually me! Hmm? Hey, what in the world? I'm absorbing the power of darkness. Cause it looks like we're in for a fight. Right? What's this? Nice, huh? I picked up a core frame in pretty decent shape at the Lisop Junkers Market. That's funny. It's the same model as my old car. Oh, really? A Junker was selling it. He said that he bought it off a bunch of bandits with diamond face paint. Those thieves, they'll do just about anything to turn a profit. You mean this used to be your car? It would seem so. Oh, in that case, you should have it. Are you sure? Don't sweat it. I had fun putting it together and I owe you guys a ton anyway. You're too kind. Thank you. Oh, man! I sure wish I had my own car. I can make you one, too, if you bring me a frame. Your eyes are bloodshot. Did you not sleep? Not a wink. I stayed up all night making the car. So you've been slacking on the jump bot to do that instead? It's not like I didn't try, you know. I've never built one. And it's complicated enough that I'll need a blueprint. Are you serious? Oh, man. It's a highly specialized bot, so I'm not surprised. If you're after a blueprint, I think Mayor Tor just might have what you need. Didn't he mention that the rebel army had left some files on jump bots behind? Oh, yeah. The mayor'd be the person to ask. Hey, would you happen to have the jump bot blueprints? Blueprints? No, I, I don't have anything like that. Great. Didn't you mention there being some documentation on jump bots in the files the rebels left behind? Oh, you're right. Let me go fetch them real quick. Found them! This what you need? So you have the blueprints after all! Is it alright if we borrow these for a bit? Be my guest. Thanks! And we brought the blueprint. They really had exactly what we needed. This should do the trick. I'll get started right away. Hope I have enough parts. Done and done. I can't believe you really made it. What you talking about? You didn't think she could? I'll be honest. I had my doubts. You must have had a fine mentor. No mentor for me. I'm completely self-taught. Just picked up what I could here and there. There's just always been a lot for me to tinker around with. Incredible. In any case, this should allow us to slip past the army and continue on our journey south. You know, it's awfully fitting that we made a bot to outfox the royals at the rebel army's ex-base. Almost like it's fate. All right, then. Let's get a move on already. If you have any problems with the bot, come back for repairs anytime. Thanks. Prince, before we head to the East Valley, let's scout the Southern Road. What for? I want to see what the army might be able to throw at us. Hmm. Okay. Their defenses are much stronger than I expected. It's practically a fortress. There's no breaking through that. 
As expected, we'll have to take a detour via East Valley. Hmm. Huh? What's this? Uh, that's my <clears throat> lucky charm. Wait a second. I know this human. She used to be a famous movie star. Sexy terrier, right? <laughs> you might act like a stick in the mud, but looks like you're a dirty old man on the inside. Shut up and sit down. We're moving out. Planning to face the army, old man? Is that what the lucky charm's for? What? But you said we weren't going to fight the royal army! But the old man's obviously gotta pay the royals back for what they pulled on him. Hold on. Please tell me you're joking. That was 30 years ago. It's your fault, thief. You're the one who blabbed all those secrets to him like a total know-it-all. No, my top priority is to find the spring. But if the Royal Army gets in my way, I'll gladly take them on. I'd give my left arm for a chance at Supreme Commander Zeu. Papa! It's a tank! Nice going, Pike! I knew we'd score us a catch! All right! Get in position! This must be the East Valley by all appearances. Whoa, it's so tall! No way we could have climbed up there without the jump bot! And the legendary spring awaits on the other side, right? I doubt it'll be quite that simple. Even so, it's a big step forward. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get up there! Come on, thief. Tired already? You need to get off your butt more than once every hundred years. Easy for you to say from a jump butt. Huh? Uh, prince Huh? Whoa! What the heck? That was close! Papa! He missed! Don't worry! Just keep throwing! Not like they've got anywhere to run! Pike, sketch all their faces for me, would you? Coming right up. Wait! P Papa! It's Beelzebub! He's in the jump bot! Wh what? Beelzebub? Why is the Fiend Prince hanging around with a human? What do we do? He flattened us last time. Don't be a coward! We're the swimmers, the biggest, baddest criminals in all of Sandland. But for now, we might just want to chuck rocks from a safe distance and be ready to run if it doesn't work. Okie dokie. It's the swimmers! Those little... The swimmers? As in, the famous bandits? I should have known those crooks would play dirty! I'll blow them away! Wait a minute, Prince. The jump bot's history of so much as a single boulder connects with it. Oh, uh, right. Then I'll go thump them in person! Nice. You're welcome. Hey, get back here! That's weird. I thought I actually heard Beelzebub talking to me just now. You didn't think it. I was talking to you. No weak knees, boys. Let's go! Man, he's tough. Back down now! Are you okay, Shark the Shark? Pike! You alright? Pike!
Here I go! Feed, attacking poor, defenseless humans! Cream on! You're the ones who started this fight! Now, how would you like me to finish it? Grrr. Guppy! On it! Ah! Dang it! If there's one thing they're good at, it's running away. Hmm? Prince, are you unharmed? Ha! <laughs> you think those losers could take me? What's that? I saw the swimmers drop it. Wait! That's me! But what would they need this sketch for? Hmm. <sighs> we we should be safe now. Pike, you've got the sketches, right? Yeah, but one's missing. Must have dropped it. You've got a gift for drawing, son. Huh, funny. Feel like I've seen this guy somewhere before. Nah. All right, shark. Go sell this pick to the news office. Don't let him have it for any less than two million zenny! Malcolm Dry, you hear? Yep. We interrupt this program for an update on the recent theft of an army tank. A sketch from an eyewitness has enabled us to identify one of the perpetrators. This man, spotted inside the stolen tank, has been identified as Rao, the 61-year-old sheriff of a small town to the north of the Central District, known as Apato Village. However, when we ran the fingerprints of this Sheriff Rao through a centralized database, we discovered a far more shocking truth. Rao is a mere alias. This man's true name should be familiar to every citizen of this kingdom. For it belongs to the military genius who became a general of the Royal Army at the tender age of 27. The legendary super soldier who protected Sandland from rebels and outlaws alike. Famed for his mercy and gentlemanly conduct toward even his fiercest enemies. The great, renowned General Shiva. Huh? A staggering development to be sure. For General Shiva has long been assumed dead, killed by the massive explosion. Caused when he protected Sandland from the attempted Peachy Rebellion. <laughs> protected Sandland. What I did was murder. Not only that, but his nearby home was destroyed in that same explosion. Slaying his beloved wife and robbing the world of a star. The actress and musician, Sexy Terry. Oh! Uh, wh why didn't you tell me that was your wife? I'm mortified. If I'd known, I'd never have said... Don't worry about it. I thought she was sexy, too. That's why I asked her out. But if she was your wife, why a magazine clipping? Because all the photos I had of her burned up. She... Shiva! No! can't be. In 
Inform General Hari of this at once! And while you're at it, tell the news office to double the reward for Shiva! And to make an announcement that anyone found sheltering him will be severely punished! Y yes sir! Shiva... What are you up to? Zayu, explain this! You told me we'd gotten rid of Shiva! Shh! Keep your voice down, your majesty! What? General Shiva? You mean... that? General Shiva? I'm going to be fighting a legend? Now that's what I'm talking about! Send out the tanks, and reinforce our defenses at all locations! Yes, sir! So, what's the plan now, old man? Unchanged. We find that spring, but first... I'd like to swing by one of the radio towers under the Army's control east of here. Huh? What do you want to do at a radio tower? I have a message that I'd like as many people as possible to hear. And the radio equipment there will let me broadcast what I have to say nationwide. General Are, the tank squadron at the checkpoint has been decimated. They what? General Shiva's tank took them out and continued on. Ugh. Round up all the soldiers in the area and hunt them down! Prince. See the radio tower on top of that hill? That's our target. This'll be a piece of cake. Don't get cocky just yet. The army must be aware of our general location. They're sure to reinforce their defenses in the area. Closing up shop already? Uh, yeah, uh, mm. There's someone I have to meet right now. Someone from the Royal Army? Or maybe the news office? Why would you think that? You've been acting strange ever since the warning about the punishment for hiding Shiva. I'm sure you figured out who we are by now. You saw right through me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So you are planning on ratting us out to the Royal Army? We're putting the whole town in danger by letting you people stay here. Your concerns are justified. We don't intend to cause you good people any trouble. We promise to never come back again. Just please, allow Anne to keep staying here. She's a personal guest of Mayor Tors and had no part in the theft of the tank. Well... In that case, fine. Hold on! We all busted out of the base in that tank to get- Prince, thief, let's get going. I'm gonna miss that garage. It was like our secret hideout. Let's not be so hasty. Mayor Tor! Hades, don't you know what these people are doing? They've been trying to find a spring. And not just for their own personal benefit, mind you. They're trying to help everyone. Uh, are you crazy? If you do that, the army will hunt you for the rest of your lives. Probably. But I can't stand by as the people of this nation suffer any longer. Even if it means putting your life at risk and exposing your secret, General Shiva? That is not my name anymore. But yes, even so. It's this warmongering fool's duty to return the future he stole from this country. Hmm. You heard the man. How about this, Hades? Perhaps we should hear from the entire town before making our final decision. I'm sure each resident has their own thoughts on the matter. You're right. This wasn't something for me to... Decide on my own. Ades, is it true that you want to report Shiva? Yeah, that's right. I would have done it too, if Mayor Tor hadn't stopped me. And he was right too. We won't submit to the Royal Army's threats even if it kills us. 
Oh, are you still carping about that? The Civil War's long since over. For 30 years, to be precise, and we lost. Can't you accept that already? Ah, the Royal Army is still the same bunch of jackbooted thugs they were back then. And I won't stop fighting until that changes. Good grief. Once his temper flares, all you can do is wait for him to cool down on his own. Just leave him be. That said, I don't think we should report General Shiva either. He may have been our enemy in the past, but he's a decent, honest man. I mean, he's trying to find water for everyone, isn't he? I trust him. That means a lot. And... If he takes the royals down a peg in the process, I can die happy. Hold on. Do you still hate the royal army too, then? You have to ask? Huh. Like I'd ever forgive them for leaving my hometown in ruins. <sighs> I think I know where I stand now. <laughs> What's wrong, Fleeka? Did you wet the bed again or something? No. It's just that... Everyone in town seems mad, and I'm scared. Forgive me. I'm afraid that's all my fault. Did you get in a fight with them? Not exactly. It's more like I'm what they're all fighting over. I don't want to upset children. I think it's best we leave. Are you guys leaving? That's what we're all trying to decide. But I don't want you or Beelzebub to go. Maybe you should tell everyone that. Okay. She's a good kid. It's thanks to all of you that she could grow up to be so kind and carefree. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose you could say it takes a village, huh? We don't want to disturb the community you've built here. Fleeka considers all of you a part of that community too, you know. This cruel world only ever seems to take more and more away from us. That's why the rare gifts it gives, like new friendships, are something to be truly cherished. That's very kind of you. I'm just not sure it would be right of me to take advantage of such kindness. Hey, you're with Rao, right? Aren't you leaving with him? I was considering it, but they shot me down. Said I wasn't part of their crew. What gives? Talk about harsh. <laughs> right? I know they're just trying to protect me, but it still hurts. It's frustrating. But part of me is happy to know how much they care. So, I've decided to do what I can by looking after this place. That way, they'll always have somewhere to go back to. Sorry if that's not what you wanted to hear. Ah, uh, you sound like one of their crew, all right. In a good way. Oh, sorry we gave you the wrong idea. We wanted to tease you for a bit, but we're not here to chase you out. We'll be happy to have you here. We know you guys are salt of the earth. The others don't know you like we do. We'd never rat you out. We've never met anyone as good-hearted as you guys. Though BLs would hate being called that. <laughs> that he would. So anyway, we're glad you'll be standing guard at the garage. And stay put. Leave convincing the villagers to us. You've got it. I think we've heard enough. Right. Let's get the others. It seems we have our verdict now. <laughs> seems like it. Who knew hatred for the royal army ran so deep? <laughs> the rebel army spirit appears to be alive and well. See? There are others who support your cause. Hmm. Sounds like we've really got to find that spring now. Guess so. The tank brigade at the checkpoint. All gone, sir. What? So, the legend lives on. But why would he bother going somewhere so remote? Maybe he's heading for our water source to the south. That's it. The radio tower. He wants to make a broadcast. Signalmen, alert all units near the news radio tower via encrypted transmission. On the double. Sir. All vehicles, advance east. Follow me. Uh, hey, Rao. We've been spotted. There's more than I expected. But we can still take them. Hold up! Looks like they've got us surrounded.
An ambush? What do we do? We're sitting ducks out here. Watch your rear. Biel's thief. You ready for this? It's like you have to ask. How many times must I tell you to address him as Prince Beelzebub? Dang. It's busted. Looks like they disabled it in advance to keep us from using it. They read us like a book. This commander's a pro. So you're saying this was all for nothing? No, I think we can get it fixed. Just need the right materials. News office? This is Shiva. Former General Shiva. Yes, the man himself. I have something I want to tell the people of this country, if you'll let me transmit it. Yes, right away, please. We have just received radio contact from a man claiming to be General Shiva himself. What? He has a message for you all, and while we have not been able to confirm his identity, we have agreed to transmit his words live on air, beginning now. This is Shiva. First, allow me to sincerely apologize to you all for any distress I may have caused. All units, cut the engines! Make it quiet! I freely confess to the crime of stealing a tank. But unlike what you were told previously, I have not attacked any villages with it. I swear this on my life. It is not my aim to spread panic and confusion amid this country. I intend only to find a legendary spring, which I assure you is no mere fairy tale. For this country cannot withstand any more drought. The spring? Did he say spring? Wh what is he even talking about? So please, just allow me to finish this mission without interference. When I find the spring, I promise to make its location public and return the tank I stole. That is all. Actually, I have one final message for a certain person on an entirely different subject. Though this doesn't absolve my role in causing that explosion 30 years ago, I've learned the truth behind it. Commander Zeyu, you are the only one I will never forgive. Over and out. Mr. Shiva, a question if you were... Uh, I'm afraid he's cut the line. <laughs> Contact the news office immediately! Tell them that they are never to allow that criminal to speak freely on air again! This is bad, isn't it, Zayu? He said something about the truth behind that explosion! Uh, and then there's that spring he said he's looking for. D do you think what he's really referring to is our secret water source? Oh, this is bad. Very, very bad. I'm sorry for dragging you two into this. All right, let's keep heading south. Uh, the Supreme Commander Zeo, sir. Yes, sir. I believe General Shiva is very close. He is no general. A mere ghost requires no title. Don't even try to capture him alive! Understand? Kill him! Once and for all! That's an order! Uh, forgive me, but might I ask you just one thing, Supreme Commander? What Jet Shiva said about the truth behind that explosion. What exactly do you think he meant by that? You see, my own father was killed in that explosion, so... You fool! There is absolutely nothing of the sort! Shiva is only trying to rattle us! Hurry up and get rid of him already! My apologies! Papa? He said he's looking for a spring. You don't! Don't fall for it! He's just pretending to be some selfless goody two-shoes! You can't trust people like that! Though if there's one thing we can agree on, it's that Zeo's a damn rat. All right. Come on, Cuppy! 
Fire one shot right at the midpoint between Shiva and the Royal Army. Got it, Papa. It's Shiva! All tanks, prepare for battle! Enemy tank brigade! They're close by! W what? Prepare to engage! Hurry! Prince, take cover behind the rocks and swing around in the other direction to attack them! Nice! All the enemy tanks are toast! A fight like that must have been a piece of cake for you, Prince. <laughs> I know! Pretty badass, huh? Hold on. That was way too easy. Their commander's probably still... That's the commander! As long as their commander still stands, this battle won't end! Take him out! That's the stuff! Pursue them! I've heard a rumor about you! That you're searching for a water source for Sandland's people! Is it? <clears throat> Unbelievable! He's superhuman! He, he saw through our tactics and completely disabled our unit! With zero loss of life! He's exactly the man my father said he was. I can't hope to compete. He's on a whole different plane. I'm afraid I can't tell you about the spring, and despite not answering your question, I have one for you. On the radio, you mentioned the truth behind the explosion 30 years ago. What is it? You may not want to hear it. I believe it, but I've got no hard proof. I am Are, the son of Apo, one of your very own officers. Please, tell me. I need to know the truth of my father's death. A Poe's son, eh? I see. Very well, then. Thief, you're our source. He should hear it from you. You've got to be. Must I do everything around here? Uh, hold on! Don't tell me you heard this story from him! You take the word of a demon?! If you won't listen to what he has to say, I can't force you. But let me say this. In this whole twisted world, I haven't met anyone as honest as these two. I trust them far, far more than any human, at least. Would you let prejudice blind you to the truth? Just like how our fear and suspicion of the Peachy caused this terrible tragedy. The Peachy? What do you mean by that? Papa! Guys from the army look like they're surrendering. Ugh! Bunch of spineless cowards! At least they're all together in one spot with Beelzebub. Now's our chance. Guppy! Turn every last one of them into fertilizer with that cannon of yours! That bounty's as good as ours! <laughs> Damn it! What was that just now? A cannon? No. Don't tell me there was another tank. No. It came from somewhere above us. I'll hop up high and look around. Here we go. Hup! It's the swimmers. Those little... Beelzebub spotted us! Gah! Gah! Time to split! Dang it! They got away again! I'm gonna pulverize them next time! That Beelzebub just saved our lives. 
Perhaps it's true that we've misjudged the demons. All right, I'll hear it. Tell me the story of what caused the explosion 30 years ago, thief. Nope, not till I hear the magic word. You little imp! Who do you think you're? Silence, you! Please just tell me! Please! Ugh. All right. Enough. Listen up. That's... that's possible. No. Surely that can't be true. I know Commander Zayu is a cold man, but I can't believe he could be so inhuman. Well, we've said our piece. And sorry, but it looks like we'll have to borrow the tank a bit longer. Sir, are you sure? Should we really be letting Shiva go like this? What do you mean by that? We never had him to begin with. What? We almost did, until the swimmers struck out of nowhere, that is. They took out our tanks, then fled. That is what happened, isn't it? Sir, yes sir! Now, guess I should make my report to Supreme Commander Zeyu. No. There's something I have to confirm with the king first. <laughs>